is the Simplex 2901-9838 on the 4903-9101 strobe plate. And as you can see, this alarm is very old. It's obviously not being made anymore. So let's go over some of the components of the alarm. So right here, um, this little square box right here, this is the base that actually makes the sound. This is where the sound comes out of. And then up here looking at the strobe where it says fire, um, that is the strobe and that's where it flashes, okay? So looking back here, this is the back of the alarm. Um, right, this little piece in there, that is the horn. And then up here is the strobe. So looking up here at the strobe, here's a little something kind of interesting you can do. So there's these two kind of clearish white pieces at the top. If you kind of take a screwdriver and be very careful about this because this is old plastic and just kind of pry it in there. There you go. Okay, and you kind of pop them and you pop them in there. So right here, you can see how the strobe has kind of came out. You can actually pop the strobe out, okay? And there are, are your wires in the back. So let's take a look at a little bit at the strobe. There's nothing really too special of it, but there's the fire lettering on it. And on the back, you can see your green circuitry. And then there are the wires right here that come out that go into the alarm. You can see a set of numbers right there. I'm not quite sure what those are for. And there's none on the other side. Now, when I first got this alarm, this is how it came in, like this. Now, one might ask, why is the strobe backwards? But it's all about perspective. You see, when you're mounting this on the wall, what if you mounted it like this? You see how that's a little different there? See, now the strobe is on the bottom, and the horn is on the top. And that is actually really interesting, and you can mount, mount these like this in actual buildings. I thought I would just bring that up. It's kind of cool. Get a good shot of that. Now to take the horn off, it's just a matter of unscrewing that screw and unscrewing that screw. Here's a look of the horn. Um, when it's not on this base, I just unscrewed it. Um, there's the back of it. And yeah, there's the horn. It's pretty cool. You got the Simplex logo right there. And yeah. Now what happens if we unscrew that screw and that screw? So when you unscrew those screws, you get this. And it kind of looks like a speaker. Okay. And then you also get its little bracket here. And so this is what it looks like when you dismantle everything of that simplex horn. If you get this full version horn, this is everything you'll actually get. You'll get the plate where your horn goes and your strobe goes. You'll get a strobe. You'll get a simplex horn. You'll get the grill of the horn. And you'll get the actual horn. And that's why I really like these horns because they come with pieces. Well, it's not really a horn. This, this horn strobe. Um, I like it because it comes in pieces, and this is really cool. Alright guys, and now for the part of the video we all wait for, the testing part. So this is going to be a test of both the strobe and the horn. You ready? In three, two, one. guys well that was the video so the one recommendation I'd make for this alarm is definitely work on the size it's really huge here is just a comparison to a common alarm um, this is made by Gentex um, but then again this is a very old and rare alarm it's obviously not being made anymore so if simplex were to change anything it wouldn't be changed because they're not making it anymore <laughs> So, um, yeah, but my 1 to 10 rating, 10 being the, a good alarm and 1 being a bad alarm, I'd give this alarm about an 8 because it's really cool. You can see how many pieces come with the alarm. I feel it's really high quality made. All right, guys, that was the video. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day.